YouTube. What is good? It's your boy Q from Next Level Reefing, and I'm back with another video. First and foremost, I'd just like to say thank you for all the love and support. I show do per shade it. And with that being said, make sure you hit that subscribe button and smash the notification bell so you can be notified of every video that I drop, which is every single Friday. All right, so let's go ahead and dive into it, people. So this week, I wanted to talk about the pros and cons of having a goby, a sand sifting goby to be specific. Now, once again, this is just my personal experience. I know everybody has their own different experiences. You can look on YouTube or look on Instagram and everybody's situation with a sand sifting goby is going to be different. So this is just my uh, opinions and what's been going on with my tank and my uh, goby. Now, with that being said, there is a big stigma that is attached to gobies in general. And the stigma is that they are jumpers. So they jump out of tanks and, you know, you'll go to sleep one morning and the next morning uh, you'll see them on the floor. Now, with that being said, if you guys watch my previous videos, you know the struggles of jumpers that I've had with this tank. And not just with the gobies, but with fish in general. So remember, I had the jumper issue with a magnificent fox face, which you wouldn't think that it would jump out, but it definitely committed the suicide situation. So that, and then I think an uh, cleaner ass uh, jumped out. And so, yeah, so I've had that experience before. So with that being said, one of, the, one of my followers on Instagram, or YouTube, I can't remember which one, but uh, he was saying that, you know, letting me know about Gobi's uh, jumping out in which I'm aware of, trust me. And with that being said, he said, yeah, without a cover, you know, you're risking, you know, that one time that the, the fish is gonna jump out. So I let him know, I'm like, hey man, you know, I've been there, done that, you know, and that's the reason why I've actually went through clear view lids and I've also, had previous videos talking about that as well. I actually did a review on it. Um, I've showed videos of it. If you go to my IG, I've had pictures of it. And he said that he didn't see it. So for those of you that haven't watched my previous videos or are skeptical about me having an open top, I'm gonna show you here. Boom, there you go. There is my custom lid from Clearview Lids that I have for the Peninsula Dream Tank. Now the cover is on there 95% of the time. The only time that I take it off is either if I need to do like an extreme water change or if I need to fix something because of the fish moving the corals around or if I want to get like a dope video shot of the tank without the lid on it. So those are the only times that the lid is not going to be on. But like I said, I've learned from the experience and now I have a lid for the tank. Okay, now let's get back to the topic of the video. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get into the pros of having a sand sifting goby. So if you're having issues of keeping your sand bed clean, a goby, sand sifting goby is definitely the way to go. One thing you have to keep in mind though, you definitely have to kind of put pellets within the sand because they don't get their nutrients just from sifting through the sand if there's nothing in there for, the, for them to eat. So definitely put like the bottom dropping type pellets so that way they reach all the way to the bottom and then that'll give the goby some nutrients while they're sifting the sand as well. Now, if I didn't mention before, I actually have a Bella goby. So there's all different types of gobies. Um, that can sand sift. So my particular one is a Bella Gobi. Now, with that being said, my particular Gobi is extremely peaceful. Uh, he gets along with the tank mates. Um, he, he doesn't, you know, nip corals, which they should nip corals, but you never know. Um, but with me, um, he is an abiding citizen for the tank. Real quick, I also wanted to mention that I might have a special Gobi. And the reason why I say that is because usually from what i've seen from the past that the only time that the goby is going to eat is when it's sifting the sand so basically the reason why they're sifting the sand is they're looking for like waste or type of food to get their nutrition from and 
mine is a little different so not only does it do that but it'll also eat fish within the water like if i'm feeding the other fish like from the top of the tank and the, the, the food is falling down he will eat it like a tang or like the other fish that i have like he won't wait for it to go into the sand and then sift it he would actually eat it like all the other fish so i've never seen that before in a goby if any of you guys ever seen that before comment down below and let me know but that is the first for me and i thought it was kind of dope and which i think is going to be a even better uh long lasting goby for me because i know sometimes it's issues of having a goby to to live for a long time because once they finish eating all the stuff in the sand then they kind of have a difficulty in finding nutrition and keeping the the fish alive because they have nothing else to eat so i think that's pretty cool for me now my reason for getting the bella goby is because that you rarely see them in home aquariums and i also like the pop of color as i mentioned in my previous video so i wanted something different uh unique and also a fish that'll get the job done so you know this was a perfect fish that i could use to do that and now i'm going to get to the cons of having a goby now even though bella goby is earning his keep and doing his job uh, he's doing a little bit too well so all the corals that i have that's on the sand bed no matter where i put it in the tank he would sift it on top of the corals and then will agitate the corals and um it's been going on for about a few weeks now now on this shot right here that first pillar that's where he majority spends his time at and it's a good and a bad thing the good thing is i can put the corals in the back side the bad thing is that it's messing up my scape idea of having the frog spawn and octospawn on the sand bed part at that pillar um so i'm trying to figure out uh, if i need to you know move them or if i need to get rid of the goby now that the tank is clean but if i do that i'm pretty sure the diatom plume is going to kick back up so until i make my final decision as you guys can see i did a temporary fix of covering the corals that i have on the sand bed currently with bottle uh plastic bottle top covers so this trick works a little bit to be honest with you i just think i have a butthole of a goby fish and the reason why i say that is because the way that i have the bottles on top of the corals there shouldn't be any reason why the goby would actually strategically put sand within those bottles now i can never catch him red-handed so i can't say if that's actually so because then you know you got to factor in the power head is right there so maybe he's on some other side and then just the sand uh just blows in the tank so i'm gonna just for now give him the benefit of the doubt but it is a pain in my neck seeing that even though i put the caps over the corals sand still gets in there so that is a major con for me so i don't know if anybody has the same issues with that with um keeping corals on the sand bed and also trying to have a goby fish so if any of you guys have a remedy to the issue that i'm having man i am open ears um just let me know uh because i still would like to have you know the gyniporas my octospines my frog spines and you know other corals that i can i can't think of right now to have on the sand bed and I also like the benefit of having a goby of keeping the sand bed, you know, extremely clean. So, you know, I'm in a pickle right now. Do I have to sacrifice one or the other? Or is there a way to, you know, have my cake and eat it too? Again, you guys in the comments, let me know. Once again, I thank y'all. I appreciate y'all for watching this video and, and support me through everything. And I'll see you guys on the next one.